If you guys haven't seen already, the Twitch streamer and YouTuber Kai Sinat announced a giveaway that he was having yesterday at Union Square Park in New York. He was supposed to be giving away PS5s, computers, headphones, and other things. However, things took a turn for the worst when the event actually took place. During the event, to say the least, more people showed up than what was to be expected, and the crowd was getting aggressive. People were destroying cars, throwing bottles, lighting fireworks, harassing police, and stealing stuff. 65 people were arrested, with 30 of them being juveniles, and Kai was also arrested among those people. Kai is looking at being charged with two counts of inciting a riot and a count of unlawful assembly. Kai had really good intentions with this event, I feel like because you can see how he acts on his streams and he just wants everyone to be happy. So that's one of the reasons why he organized this event to give back to his community. But it just had poor execution to say the least. Kai or his team didn't think to get a permit for the area or a security team for that matter. And as a streamer of his size, literally being streamer on the platform. I'm surprised he didn't think to even consider uh, security or the permit or his team, obviously. I don't think it all falls on Takai, but it is on their team as a whole. The videos on TikTok and other social media depicting the event are pretty wild and so far since Kai is in custody, we haven't heard a statement yet but I am sure we will get one momentarily. What are your guys' thoughts? Is Kai at fault here, or is this just an unfortunate case of things getting out of hand? I think that it, it goes both ways. Obviously, Kai definitely could have organized this better. However, you cannot control how a crowd is going to act in the wake of an event like this. So to say the least, it's kind of uncertain what would happen, but at the same time, you could have just taken preventative measures to handle this in the first place. And of a streamer of this size, I think it is especially important. But at least for future reference, we know how powerful the top streamers are because top YouTubers and streamers are borderline celebrities. I mean, if you ask a kid what their dream job is, most likely it is going to be a YouTuber. Influencer culture is just getting a lot bigger. So I think we need to acknowledge that. 